The second wave of the Mario Kart 8 DLC Booster Course Pass came out today, and because I am a high schooler with literally no life whatsoever, I'm going to be ranking the courses from worst to best. In last place, we have Mario Circuit 3. I actually remember this track from Mario Kart Wii. I never played Mario Kart Wii, but my siblings did, and I remember them playing this one. And even then, I remember this one being incredibly boring, which is why it's in last place. I don't know who the hell, who wanted this course back? It's literally the most generic Mario Kart course ever created. Although I do have to say, on 200cc, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's just depressing. Next up, in 7th place, we have Snowland. Yeah, this one's pretty bland. It's, it's not bad, but it's not good either. It's just, eh, whatever. Yeah, that's about all I have to say about it. In 3rd to last place, we have Mushroom Gorge. Another course I remember from Wii. I remember my siblings always playing on this track. Although, again, I never played Wii because my siblings wouldn't let me. But I do remember. But years later, I did decide to play Wii when my brain could actually function. And I hate Wii because of its horrible motion controls. And yes, I'm aware Hitman is probably going to try and kill me now. <clears throat> anyway, the course isn't bad, but it's nothing special either. Next up, we have Sky High Sunday. I have mixed feelings on this track. Even when I first started playing this track, something about it fell off, and then it hit me. This doesn't feel like a real Mario Kart track. It feels fan-made. I have no idea what it is about the track specifically, but something about it doesn't feel right. So, I don't know, take that as you will. Next up, we have Calamari Desert. I played this one back in Mario Kart 7, and I don't care for the desert part whatsoever, but I'm a sucker for trains. Going through the train tunnel is also a really cool addition. Third place, we have Waluigi Pinball. So, I'm not infatuated with this track like everyone else seems to be, but it's pretty alright, and it's pretty good, especially in 200cc. In second place, we have New York Minute. I absolutely love the way this track looks, but... It's great all around, but it has one weird problem. I feel like in 150cc, it's too slow, but in 200cc, it's too fast. And it's something, it's a problem that I feel like only this track has. But just ignoring that, the track is still pretty good. Really, the best track in the update is Sydney Sprint. The track is a pretty good length, so time isn't a problem for it being too short or too long. And the music is an absolute bop, and you go to a bunch of cool and fun locations. Wow, I sound really punchable right now. But anyway, so yeah, just just this this track is amazing, and I love it. Anyway, so now that we're done with the ranking, I have to say Wave 2 felt a little weaker than Wave 1, and I don't know if it's just me or not. A lot of these courses felt a little more generic than the first, so, but even if it is a little generic, I will continue to play this because I have nothing to do. Also, Nintendo has still not labeled Ninja Hideaway from being from Tor, even though it is from Tor, and I have no eye reason why they haven't labeled it yet. Anyway, that's all for this video, and see ya!